Welcome to the cost of capital problem one. Here we want to calculate the weighted average cost of capital given weights and rates for the different types of uh, capital. We have 55% for the common stock, 5 preferred shares, and 40 for debt, etc. Also, we'll have for the cost of them, 16% is the cost of equity, 8.5 is the cost of preferred shares, and 5.5 is the pre-tax cost of debt. We also are given the tax rate. So this is actually a quite straightforward question. Although uh, there are preferred shares here, not every example will have preferred shares, but it's pretty straightforward because we don't have to calculate any of the weights or any of these rates. So let's take a quick look at the, an overview of what nor one normally does. If we have to calculate the weights and or the rates, to calculate the weights, we would calculate the total value of equity, we calculate the total value of debt, the total value of preferred shares, and then we would calculate the weights according to their proportions in the total value, then we'd have these three weights. For the rates, we would calculate equity using either the dividend growth model here, or we would use the capital asset pricing model here. Um, for the debt, we would normally uh, have information to be able to calculate the yield on bonds, and for preferred shares, they're pretty straightforward uh, in um, perpetuities, and we would calculate the return on the perpetuity. That would give us the weighted average cost of capital. So we have all these numbers already now for this question. So let's go to the go back to the question. So as it, all we need to do now is label appropriately. So 55% is the weight of equity. 5% is the weight of preferred shares, and 40% is the weight of debt. On the cost front, we have 16%, which is the return to equity, and correspondingly, we have 8.5% is the return on preferred shares, and 5.5% is the return to debt. Together with a tax rate of 30%, we can make the calculation, which is the weighted average cost of capital, WERE plus WP preferred R preferred plus W debt R debt 1 minus T. These are the numbers that we had, and that yields us an answer of 10.765 or 10.77%. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much.